Hello everyone. Um, for this video, I will be airing my thoughts on the recently released Peter Jackson movie, The Hobbit, An Unexpected Journey. First off, how did I find the movie? Um, it was fantastic, uh, definitely entertaining, and uh, just like most Peter Jackson movies, the pacing was uh, fast and engaging. It was a cliffhanger, unfortunately. Um, in the Filipino vernacular, we would call it a bitin. <laughs> but anyway, um, at least we have um, something to look forward to in the future. Um, you've probably you've probably heard that this movie was derived from the book, The Hobbit, by J.R.R. Tolkien, and um, just like the uh, earlier Lord of the Rings trilogy. Now, a word about The Lord of the Rings, or L-O-T-R, uh, the movies. Um, they were also derived, derived, derived <laughs> from three long books, um, which combined together are more than a thousand pages. However, The Hobbit um, pales by comparison because it's only about 300 pages or so, and I think it was intended to be a children's book I, I don't know um, so yeah how I don't know how they are going to uh, adapt a book or a novel that's 300 pages in length into a three-part or maybe even a two-part movie like the LOTR movies but anyway that'll give us more um, Tolkien movies in the future so yeah, no we're not complaining. Um, if you're new to the world of Tolkien and uh, will just happen to see The Hobbit for the first time, or, or The Hobbit will be the first Tolkien uh, adapted movie that you will see, um, even, even before the LOTR movies, I believe it's best to see uh, Lord of the, the Lord of the Rings movies. Uh, the Lord of the Rings movies first. Um, the Hobbit can confuse new audiences. Uh, for example, in the opening scenes of The Hobbit, we see Frodo Baggins. Uh, he's the protagon one of the main protagonists of LOTR. Um, a few minutes later into the movie, he disappears. So if you're new to, th to th this world, you might be confused or might even wonder where he went what's happening or you might even say I don't get it what, uh, what th that sort of thing uh, so yeah if you plan to see The Hobbit it's best to see LOTR first so it, it will also teach you or help you understand the land of Middle-earth uh, Middle-earth basically is the world of uh, LOTR and The Hobbit uh, it'll also help you understand uh, the inhabitants or the characters in the movie yeah so that's it um, it was a great movie if you haven't seen it yet better go check it out um, I heard it was shot in a higher frame rate 48 frames so if it's an ordinary cinema you won't get to um, appreciate that kind of filming technology uh, you, it's best to see it in 3D or IMAX if you if those types of cinemas are available in your area. But anyway, it's still engaging. It's beautifully made and you will enjoy it. Um, it's, I, it's Personally, I don't think it's good for kids. Um, even though the dwarfs are funny. Uh, no, it's not... It's not really for kids because there's a lot, uh, not not a lot, but there are some scenes that are not suitable for kids. So yeah. By the way, about the dwarves, uh, because th they're, it basically this movie focuses on the dwarves and a um, some hobbits. Yeah. I I. <laughs> When it comes to dwarves, I just can't appreciate them. I mean, their style of living, their <laughs> their antiques. Uh, although they are funny, but uh, I am more of an elf person. So, 
but I do uh, I do love their their voices. Uh, there was a scene in this movie where in they they chanted. Yeah, it's it's more like a Gregorian chant. It was beautiful, pleasing to the ears. Uh, yeah. What else? Um. Yeah, that's it. Um, as I said, if you haven't seen this movie yet, go check it out. You will enjoy it, and yeah, it's really it's a really a good it's a good um movie to see this Christmas. By the way, Merry Christmas to all, and oh yeah, thank you to Father Giova- Vincent Giovanni Wakas for the tickets. <laughs> we yeah we went to see it with him, so thank you for your free passes movie passes and um that's it i'll see you in the next video upload cheers